And so the story continues. At long last, Kutaro and his new friend Picarina were free of Castle Grizzlestein, born to safety by the witch's magic. Our fugitives needed a safe place to hide, and so they chose Castle Waxwain, the same flying palace from which the Moon Goddess once ruled. In those better days, the White Castle was resplendent, a sight to behold. But the tides of darkness had since dulled its sparkle and loosened the stone of its walls and columns. There, there, sweeties. We'll just hide out here for a spell. But, like, this is Castle Waxwing. Doesn't it belong to... The goddess? Yes, indeed. Although palace and master alike seem to have come apart at the seams. Silence, Yin Yang! No one asked for your opinion! Out of the darkness and into the light, Kutaro had gone from black castle to white. No, oh, this is more like it. No moon bear king spies and lackeys to follow our every move. Uh-huh. You've got a lot of gumption, you know that? Only one Heine should be warming that throne, and it doesn't have warts on it. Look! The Moon Goddess is gone, Dandelion! I'm sure the palace is delighted to have such a promising new master! Promising? Try pompous! Try shutting up! Oh, my little earth and savior, why you're nothing short of a hero? Come, be a good child and let me have a gander at that moonstone shard. Don't do it, Kataro. Calibris, the moonstone, and the palace all belong to the goddess. And this magic slinging loony is obviously trying to dupe you out of them. How can you say such a thing? All I want is what's best for Bob. What's his name? <laughs> Whatever. Granny's trying to explain, so knock it off! Ow! Oh my gosh! What a witch! The Moon Bear King kidnapped Kotaro's soul while he was sleeping. He does that to Earth, children. And that's where the moonstone comes in. The source of all moonlight. After the Moon Bear King shattered the stone, he gave the pieces to his generals. And you see how they shine. That's just one shot. Imagine the power I would have if you collected them all. I could easily spirit Kutaro back home to Earth. You really mean it? It's in your best interest too, my sweet. Didn't you say the Sun Princess was searching for the Moon Goddess? Yeah. Why? The Moonstone is a symbol of the Goddess's power. Restore the stone, restore the Goddess. This could be your big chance. <laughs> You should start in the Moonwood. General Rat has another Moonstone Shard, and you're going to get it back. I still don't trust you. You're using Kataro, and I am so going to prove it. You'll have to catch him first. Oops. Hey, Kataro! <laughs> and remember, you can tell a rat if you smell a rat. Go get him! Well, Kutaro had taken the Moon Witch Plunge, and now he found himself in a secluded grove in the Moonwood. That hag is such a... Ugh. How are we going to find one lousy rodent in a place this big? forest. One gullible woodland creature after the other. <sighs> What's going on? A splash of purple later, and the quiet, unassuming grove had transformed into a gloomy, reeking landscape of evil, dark horribleness. 
Once I darkify the Moonwood and offer it to the Moonbear King as a tribute, I will be on Easily Street. <laughs> so that's who did this, General Rat. Now, bamboos generally tend to be upright citizens, but these storks have thrown fangs and wanted to chow down on Kutaro. If I might share a bit of moon lore, have you heard this one? Once upon a time, there was a lineage of radiant moon princesses who began their lives as tiny babies inside bamboo storks. But then, one of the princess's souls had a little mishap and wound up in a bamboo stalk on Earth by accident. Sort of the opposite of young Kuta right here. Forget about Kataro. How can you bring up radiant princesses and not mention me? Do your job, please. What? How dare you question your narrator? I'm omniscient. You! It looks like that caterpillar we saw went to town on these bamboo stalks. A Koinobori streamer? And is that a panda? It's playing with the bamboo. That's so adorable. Koinabori are an old tradition representing the carp as he swims his way up the waterfall to become a dragon. They're symbols of growing up healthy and strong. I know that, but who put them up? Oh, let's not get mired in details. Aren't you in a hurry? Rat's purple goo had already fouled up the Moonwood's pristine water supply, transforming the local carp into ferocious demon fish who took none too kindly to trespassers. Hey, you don't suppose the rat is hiding out up river at the top of the waterfall?
Kutaro arrived at a bridge that arched a truly impressive waterfall. Holy cascade! Do we really have to climb this thing? Keep climbing and don't look down! Tree into a baleful twist of briars.
at the dreamiest. We did it, Kataro! It's back to normal! Now that Kutaro and Calibus have excised the darkness, the old cherry tree could go back to his usual agenda. Standing tall, looking blooming radiant. In the mystical cave behind the waterfall, our hero stumbled upon a strange scroll that could How only How do we get past this magic? Somebody doesn't want us to have that scroll. And that was how Kuturo acquired the ninja's powers. Nin Nin! Nin Nin! Ninja! Splendid, Kutaro. Now you have the knight's powers and the ninja. Who turned out the lights? Luna Candela! Funny, that usually works. Kutaro, use the ninja's powers to light up the cave. Watch your reindeer. Just throw a bomb in the stupid lantern. It's still dark. Do it again. Good. Just a little brighter now. That's a boy. Finally, we can have some lighting. Wait! Now it's too bright! Blast it! <laughs> you can see all my warts! Here, aim for that bomb symbol at your feet. Don't throw it! Set it down! All right, one final test. Hit me with a bomb! I certify you ninja proficient! In! <laughs> the moon would shine! Time to spruce up the spruces! Whoa! Holy sacrilege! Oh, the horror! Rats squeaked for satisfaction at his handiwork. The hallowed shrine of the forest gods had been transformed, corrupted. Kutaro snipped the ghastly lantern down to size and returned the shrine to normal. <laughs> the Tory gate guarding the shrine had been sapped of its power by sorcerous chains.
Totoro used Calibrus and the ninja's powers to fell his enemies and rekindle the shrine's power one step at a time. Transformed into a weaver, one of the Moonbear King's faithful servants, who seemed quite intent that Kutaro joined the club. Kutaro, did you see that? Stick a bomb on that glowing type of drum. What a fight it was, as Kutaro dodged scalding flames and swinging death and leapt from Tycho to Tycho. Kutaro dodged scalding flames and swinging death and leapt from Tycho to Tycho.
Kataro. He may look tough, but I can see the fear in his eyes. Let's set those souls free! The Shrine's Weaver had been vanquished, and the souls of the children it held captive returned to Earth. Calabras! No! My scissors! I don't want to go back to me! Uh. <laughs> What is going on? But this had better be important, or else. They what? Brett is supposed to be guarding that forest. Talk to him. Yes, he would say that. The buffoon. The tiger. I'm beginning to think the problem with my generals is that I have any! Hmm. With this week's conspiracy, they steal Calibus, they escape my castle, now they conveniently find the Moonwood. Do you think someone else is pulling the strings? Right. Keep a close eye on them. I shall take matters into my own claws. <laughs> Never fear, you beautiful brute. You just need to find their ringleader. And then, what you do, you can tear them into tiny and threatening little bats! Ah! Ah! Put toxin production on hold. Kutaro has been spotted in the moonwood. Then the rat has failed in his task. Say the word, sire, and I will strike your enemies down. Very well. Crash the life out of Kutaro, no matter the cost, and you will be well rewarded. The reward is in the crushing. Watch as I devour all that stands in my path. With the help of Calibrus, Kutaro defeated the menace and saved the souls of a lucky few. Well done, Kutaro! The souls he freed were homeward bound! <laughs>